Hello Blenderheads and also a warm welcome to the Stable Diffusion and ChatGPT community. This video is a bit meta because what I did was I used an AI to improve a software that you can use to control another AI in Blender. So approaching the singularity with a teeny bit of human in it, but how come? Well, I've been using the Dream Textures add-on in Blender a lot lately. And with the Dream Textures add-on, you can use, you can create images or textures right inside Blender from the Stable Diffusion AI. And the images end up here as data blocks. So when I wanted to look at different images, it meant that I always had to go up here, click and everything is a drag. And I thought, well, wouldn't it be nice to have a shortcut for this? And I went over to the Bing version of ChatGPT and I asked it nicely, hey, can you create me a Blender uh, add-on so uh, I can use the page up key and uh, cycle through the images? And it did. Wow. So I asked it, hey, can you, uh, can you improve it so I can also use the page down key? Hmm. Wow, it actually improved it. And then I asked it, hmm, the script is missing the metadata for an add-on, so it's, uh, could you add the metadata as well? And it did which meant this is now a complete add-on that's really easy to install inside Blender. And the funny thing is, if you look at author, it's a, it reads Bing as an author. And the interesting thing is, wow, it even has a meaningful description. Wow. But one problem in the code, I've noticed that at line 31, the identification is completely gone. And that, of course, breaks it because identification is super important in Python. So I asked him, hey, when I try to install it, I get this error, can you fix it? And it noticed, hey, yeah, there's an identification error. Here's the corrected version of the script. No, didn't fix. So I asked him nicely again. And he's once again, he said, oh, I made a mistake. Here's a corrected version, but no, 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 didn't fix. So I asked a third time with a third prompt, hey, can you please fix uh, the identification? And it says, yeah, I apologize for the mistake. Here's a corrected version of the script with proper identification, but no, 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 no. So actually ChatGPT at this point gave up on me. And what I did was I fixed the identification myself and then I ended up with an add-on that was easy to install in Blender. So let me quickly install this. Author Bing. Anyways, now what I can do is page up and page down now work and I can switch between images. Really cool. And if you want to use the add-on, it's in the, a link to it is in the description. Feel free to use it. It's public domain because it is, has been created by an AI. And what I thought, well, wouldn't it be really cool if this was inside Dream Textures? Because that would be the meta part. The AI, actually one AI improving uh, the usability of another AI. And for this, I currently created a pull request. It's not 100% uh, sure whether this will go in. There will of course be some discussion and some changes to it. But I think this is actually an interesting thing because the code has been rewritten mostly to 95% by an AI. And all I did was fix the AI identification and make teeny changes so it's in, uh, it matches the um, structure of the add-on the dream textures add-on. And there's also the questions, should this go into dream textures? Because it's a nice feature, I think. Or shouldn't this actually go into Blender itself? And I think that would raise the big issues like, is it ethical to add AI generated code to Blender? Or it's because it's so simple, maybe a human, another human, not me, should uh, actually uh, write the code from scratch itself. So that this is just a feature request, a nice demo, but the actual code is written by another human might also work. So what are your thoughts about this? First of all, do you want to see this feature in Dream Textures? Do you want to see the feature in Blender? Do you think the features should stay in separate add-on? And if this goes into Blender, well, do you think it's cool for Blender to um, accept um, code that is created by an artificial intelligence? I don't know. And I think I'm in for a bit of a discussion myself and I'm happy to hear your thoughts. So thanks for watching and Happy blending.